Hey folks, today was supposed to be my first music theory tutorial, but the editing has taken a little bit longer than expected. So hopefully this can tide you over until the next official video comes out, which should be tomorrow. It's time for a moment of immodesty. So anytime I get gussied up and I go out somewhere, I always get the same thing. Gee, Michael, you sure do tie a fine tie. And it's true, I tie ties really well. In fact, I was taught by the best. My dear old dad. In order to get a really clean knot, I use what I call the two fingers and one thumb system. The idea is that when you have your tie, you're able to keep it flat at all times because you're squishing it between your two fingers and your thumb. Now, I'm not actually an expert in the formal names of all the ties, but I believe this is called the Full Windsor, and I wouldn't have it any other way. The Full Windsor gives you a very nice, tight triangle. It's symmetrical. It goes straight down. So now to the knot. Now, as you can see, the small part is pretty short. How short depends on how long you need your tie to be. I start with the big part going over the small part. I then pinch right there. Notice how I'm pinching it so that it stays flat. Then with my other hand, I take it and I tuck it around. And I haven't stopped pinching yet, you'll notice, because I have to make double sure and see it's twisted. I have to make double sure that it does not twist. So when I take my fingers out, what I have is a nice, clean, uncrumpled bit of tie. I'm now going to take this large end again, and I'm going to pull it around the back so that it wraps nice and flat against the back of my thumb. I then push it back through on the other side. Okay. When I'm done with that, you'll notice I have the makings of my triangle. You'll also notice everything is nice and flat. It's really imperative that you keep everything flat. Now I have the small end in front and the large end in back. For this last bit, you do the standard thumb two finger pinch, but you keep your two fingers kind of out a little ways and you wrap around underneath through the bottom, then grab it through the center. Pull down and you've got the beginnings of your knot. So to recap, cross and through, around the back and through, across the front, stick those two fingers in there, just like that, up and through. What you might notice about this first attempt is that it's a little fat at the bottom. I have a couple of rules about tying a tie. Number one, as long as you've kept everything flat, there's a 95% chance that you can salvage that knot. In fact, I almost never get it at first. I always have to wiggle it around and noodle it before I get that nice triangle. This, though, is a really excellent beginning. And number two, you have to be willing to try again. If it doesn't look good, tie it again. So many people go out with a badly tied tie because they just go with their first attempt. It's worth the extra time. So here are my tips for making your knot look pretty once you've got everything tied. In order to get a thin front, what you're going to need is for the tie to pinch thin, basically in half long ways. Now each piece that connects to your knot will do a different thing to the tie. One of them is going to remove this part, that's this side, and the other side is going to tighten the knot. What you want to do is take your thumb and put it right behind the base of the knot. That's where my thumb is now. Then I take each of my fingers and I pinch it in half, just like that, the long ways. Then I grab onto the tightening part and I pull. I yank pretty hard. You have to yank pretty hard because that's going to tighten your knot. Now you'll notice now that I have a nice, thin, tight bottom to my knot and that it's coming out nice and slick on either side. If it's still not perfect, if it's still not doing quite what you want right around here, you have some wrinkles, again just stick your thumb in there, pinch, and then just give it a twist. Just twist it right like that. You may even want to try to curl the pieces around the centerpiece. So the back is going to look a little like this. You'll see how that's the centerpiece. I've just curled the side around it. I do that on both sides and I just give it a twist just like that. If you want, you can take that tightening side again and you can give it another tug. Next, you hold on to the thin part and pull the knot 
up toward the neck. And there it is, folks. A Michael Davidson approved full Windsor. Well, that's all for now. I'm Michael Davidson, this was Cadential M, and this is a beautifully tied tie. Thanks for watching. This is the tie in a tie in one take bonus, except at the very end when I straighten it up for a long time and you don't need to see that, so I just show you the end. And uh, to pass the time, I'm going to play a little music. So this is a slow version of my intro song. Thanks for watching, folks. Please subscribe.